trying to get down. Kirby, you guys say hi. Hello. Who's that? We're going to see if anybody comes on, all right? All right. I am going live. Figured I'd see who's on today, see if anybody's there. Um, and I just went to Hobby Lobby. And so I'll talk about that. I have Kiwi with me. And guess who else is here? Ginny. Hey, Jin. This is my son's dog. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Come. Jin. She's a poodle, a standard poodle. Jin, Jin. Come. Give me that. Maybe she'll come. Anywho, come here. Let's see if I can show her. She just got shaved yesterday. Um, she's my son's dog. I said that. James. And he's in Japan. I think I'm supposed to look over there. Wait. Yeah. Um, and so we're babysitting. Right? And she's a good girl. She's a good, 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 good girl. Well, let me see. Oh, good. I have 12 people on. I guess I should go on here and see who I have. Uh, blah, 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 blah. YouTube. And there. And my channel. What's up? All right. 14 watching. Live chat. All right, let me turn this down. Hello, dear. My name is Carolyn. Hello, hello Carolyn. <laughs> Hi, Connie. All right. So I am going to talk to you guys. I don't know if you guys have been. I'll put this over here. Well, so that I can refer to my chat. Um... I went to Hobby Lobby. If you guys have been watching YouTube videos, whoops, you know that Hobby Lobby has some clearance stuff going on. And I ha have resisted. I have enough stuff. And if you watch my videos, you know that, Jenny, come up. All right, whatever. Um, that I say, use what you have. So I resisted. But I thought, well, let me just go have a look and see if there's really anything I need to have, which I didn't need any of this stuff. Um, and you guys have had really good um, um, shares on what you got. Uh, lots of dyes, lots of um, the acrylic paint sets, which I have. So I have a lot of craft supplies already. And um, I just, like I said, I just wanted to go see. Now, the only thing I got from clearance was this. This is the Tim Holtz washi, and I just loved it. It's called Design Tape. It was $2.50, and I'm sure it was regularly like 20 bucks or something. I don't really know. Oh, it's on the bottom. $9.99, sorry. All right, but look, I get, whoa. One, lot, a lot of different washies. Look at this silver sparkly one. So that's really all I wanted, but it's all words. So I thought, I'm going to use these on my art journal pages, hopefully. I don't know. There's a three-stack a three stack one, a two-stack one, another two-stack, and then one, two, three one-stacks, a glitter, and a number. So awesome. All right, I'll put them back in there. Uh, for two, what was it? 50. So, what do you want? What do you want? I also got, oh, hi guys. Let's see. Hi, Sheila, Crystal, Donna, Adrian, Gina, Gina, Adrian, uh, Holly. What, what's the washi tape for Holly set? Um, well, washi is, I mean, like, I just sent out a package, and you can use it to decorate your envelope. You can use it just as um, a piece of um, mixed media in your mixed media art. Hi, Fiona. So, Holly, just put it into YouTube, uh, washi tape, and you'll see a bunch of stuff. Hi, Felicia. Um, 
you'll see a whole bunch of stuff that you can use washi tape for. Um, I got collage podge this time. I always use Mod Podge. Mod Podge is, oops, I am having the dropsies. Mod Podge is my go-to um, glue. My nose itches, sorry. For, um, yeah. Adrian, uh, Gina said her daughter used washi to decorate components in her car. I actually have it on my, the jack for your, um, you could just put it on your jack for your iPhone so that you can distinguish it from everyone's because they're all white. Jenny, leave her alone. Kirby's hiding under my desk. Uh, so anyway, yes, but, oh my God. I just flung all my pens. It's, a, it's just hectic. All right, but I really wanted to show you, if you guys watch my videos, I've been using this uh, Stampin' Stuff embossing powder and it's called stardust and it's transparent and it's super glittery and so i found these at hobby lobby this is by it's just i think they're brand no it's ranger this is ranger embossing powder and guys i haven't really shopped oh donna did that too look at kiwi i know what are you doing it's hectic i'm flinging pens she's such she's the biggest critter I have. Kirby's hiding under the desk, but she'll bite Jenny's nose. Hi, Gabriella. Um, anywho, Ranger. Um, listen, Ranger comes out with different, uh, craft tools every, every year. I mean, we just had creativation and, um, there was a lot of stuff out. I don't own any of the newer products like the, uh, the new oxida uh, oxidize inks or whatever they're called. And I don't have a, a set of the like crayons because I have similar items that I don't use anyway. Like the Neo Color 2s, which are basically a water soluble wax pastel. And that's, I think, what the Tim Holtz ones are. So you don't need every new thing that comes out. Um, you know, it's, it's just... I don't even use what I have. So that's why I say use what you have. But anyway, I needed Mod Podge. So I was running out of Mod Podge and I like this squirt bottle that this comes in. So I wanted to try the Collage Podge. This is decoupage glue. It's water resistant glue and sealer and finish. Water based sealer glue and finish. So they're basically the same thing. Um, and so I wanted, this is by Aileen's, Aileen's Tacky Glue. Aileen's is a big um, brand name and Mod Podge is by Plaid. So you'll find most of the companies make um, the same products, you know, like Liquitex has probably a glue. This is matte medium, um, but they, you know, so every company will make different uh, products that do the same thing. We'll make products that do the same thing. So um, I got, and then I got this embossing powder. So yeah, I was saying, um, this one's by Stampin' Stuff. It's embossing powder. And I got this at a craft store. And I've used it on my little angels lately. And I just bought these dragonflies. These were at Hobby Lobby. They were a dollar. It's by Woodpile. Laser cut wood dragonfly, okay? So I am gonna, I'm hoping to make some fairies. I'm gonna just come over here and grab one of my girls. This is, I really, really loved making these at the holidays. This was my uh, ornament this year that I did. These are my little art doll ornaments. And I had really cute, I should have gotten them. I had really cute um, die cut wings. Here, I'll bring them all over. But I ran out of them and I've been getting a lot of questions about where did I get these die cut wings? And I got them at Michael's. I've answered most of your questions about it. Hi, Katie. Um, but I used them all up. So there was this one. 
there were like a several different styles and I bought I bought a couple of the different styles in different sizes so I still have the big ones which I think I put them over there um, but I got like this one is my favorite because that's just a classic wing shape but then I ran out of them because I've been I made a lot of them and I probably used them for other things so I also have <coughs> these are actually from Hobby Lobby these wings they come in gold and silver and I got these at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry department and I think she looks okay with them I mean yeah they're a little bit off proportion wise like I definitely like the proportion of this more you know I think it matches but maybe I could make oh I'm gonna have to separate them Kirby Jenny Jenny, come. Come. Come here. Come here, Jen. Come in here. Come. Jenny. Ready? Okay. Come. So I can just close my door. I just closed the door and I can keep them separated because they, Jenny is a puppy. She's only three and she really, really, really like, she thinks Kirby and Pee Wee are toys. So if I get her near her, Jen, do you want to see Kirby, Pee Wee? Come here. Look, she thinks she's a toy. She tries to get her. Because Ginny's an only child, and she only lives with my son. So she doesn't get a lot of interaction. I know, you think this is a toy, and it's not. All right, so she'll be fine now. But I wanted to see what this would look like with dragonfly wings. I think that's cool. I think that's going to be good. Hi, Deb. Hi, Mary. Um, I watched your soldered pendant videos again yesterday and we'll be doing some of my own next week. Good for you, Mary. I know Fiona looks good, right? I think it looks good. So this is more proportionate and I'm just going to leave it with the dragonfly back there. So it's like a double sided thing. I mean, I could cut the wings off probably, but you don't need to. Um, hello. See, look, she thinks it's a toy. Come over here. Come here, what are you doing? It's not a toy, it's my bird. I know, and she's so jealous. Jen, why are you so jealous? I'm right here, you don't have to be jealous. Stop. Why are you so jealous? She got shaved yesterday. So she's a standard poodle. Ow, and Kirk Kiwi just bit my shoulder. Are you nervous? But, um. She was so matted because my son doesn't get her groomed. So we got her all groomed down and now we can start over and then she'll be gorgeous. Are you going to be gorgeous? She's so sweet. All right, get down. Get off me. Get off me. Um, so yeah, so I got those. And then with that in mind, I got some more of this. Now this is what I was getting at. This is the Ranger embossing powder. And they have it at, um, come here. They have it at Hobby Lobby, and they had a whole bunch of colors. They had opaque colors. I couldn't decide, and they were not on sale, and they're $5.99 each. This is called Black Sparkle. Can you see that? OMG. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I really love to emboss. Let's see if I embossed on any of these guys. No, but I've embossed on art dolls before. Let me see. She's not embossed either, but I've embossed a lot on, on different three-dimensional projects. Um, so I'll find someplace, maybe even Polymer Clyde, we'll see. So I just splurged for two of those, but this one's called Holographic. There, you can tell there. So it's going to be not as glitter, and then they had glitter. They had two different glitters. They had a bridal glitter and a snowflake glitter. So I have lipstick on today and I don't know if I like it. I just I just um, wanted to try it to see what I would look like. So let's see what you guys are saying. Hi Elaine, Sandy, me too. I love the dragonfly. Gilded, gilded Mary, definitely cool. Um, that black sparkle powder is to die for. Oh, you use it a lot? 
Yes, during Halloween crafting would be perfect. I'm glad you love hanging out. So, um, also, all right, so what else? I just want to finish because I didn't get a lot. Um, I was talking about Hobby Lobby, for those of you who have just joined on, is having a clearance sale. Um, and my Hobby Lobby is brand new. I've been to, this one's five minutes from my house. And I've been to others that have their clearance stuff all in one section. It's like all up against the wall. And you just look up and down. But this store, for whatever reason, all their clearance stuff was in so I had to go to the paint to see if there was paint clearance. I had to go to the embossing folders to see if there was embossing folder clearance. And and it was pretty picked over. So I think a lot of the clearance stuff went already. And it's a brand new store. So I think they're going to, when they get the, probably like their, um, I forget what he called it, but they're going to restock the store. Maybe, I don't know. Then they'll be put pulling all this, the clearance stuff. So who knows? But... Um, I did find, and these weren't on clearance or on sale. I, I didn't get anything on clearance except for the um, Tim Holtz washi, which I'm, I'm you know, hoping, hoping I'll use it. Um, let's see. So I got two more of the neon paints. I was, when I did my ATCs, I'm just going to grab them. Uh, I love using neons. Look at the color. And also, see, look at that. I love using metallics and I love using, um, there's a little bit of glitter paint on here too. And that is, I think I got one of each. So this time I got by Deco Art. This is called Extreme Sheen. And I haven't seen this before. Um, but it's a, it's sapphire in a metallic. So, I mean, it looks metallic to me. It doesn't say, meta yes, metallic paint. But it's Extreme Sheen. And then this one's called by Ceram Coat, and I think that's what my pink is. Um, I can't find, oh, I put it away. This one, let's see. This is called Glamour Dust Neon Pink. That's what I was using before. This is not the same. This is just called Glitter Blue. So this is blue glitter paint. So we'll see how that goes. I wanted to get some blues, though, to use, um, I'm gonna probably do a mixed media page today because um, I'll tell you what else is going on. Right, so that's it, is that everything I got? Yeah, I think that's everything. That's it, that's all I needed. I didn't need anything, like I said, I'm definitely, um, I would have loved this and I would have went sooner. As soon as I saw the sales were happening on um, YouTube, cause you guys have been posting your um, hauls from Hobby Lobby, I would have ran to Hobby Lobby. It, um, like say three years ago when I was first establishing my crafting stash um, because it it's awesome to get stuff on clearance and there was a lot of good stuff like the FW acrylic paints were there um, so all right I'm gonna look back at some of your um, yes Mary McVie I have a Facebook page. It's called My Serenity Crafts. And I've had a lot of, like, Sherry's been sharing her. Um, she's a truck driver. And so I've been talking to her on Facebook. You can message me on Facebook if you have private things that you don't want to just share on the channel. You can use Messenger. I know, Gina. Gorge. So, yeah, Mary, if you want to share your projects, that's, I love that. And I should be putting that in the description of a lot of my videos that, it, or I should be saying it. But I don't do social media like that. Okay, good. Yeah, check it out. And um, Facebook's interesting. Like, there's a little section where it'll say, um, I don't know what it says. I can't really look at it right now. Anyway, um, if you leave it in the comments, I'll show you where it is. Hi, Vicki. Um, but, okay, so what else was I going to say? Uh, so, yeah, I do think I want to create another gorgeous type of thing like this. I have a lot of mixed media stuff already cut out. Like, I like to stamp out and cut out 
little images. Um, I shared these little tiny canvases last week too. Um, so that you have it, let's say, I think, well, I have little tiny stuff in here. These are actually rub-ons. I have die cuts that I've already cut out, like love, little things that, that are at the ready so that when you're creating, you can have them um, ready to go. So little images, it's always fun. But this, this day I knew I just wanted to use a brand new stamp set. So that's where these bees came from. I'm not crazy about the way the bees ones came out because they, they're not popping like um, I'd hoped. But this is my blues. Hi, Gina B. Good. Yes. I'm not the first one. So Gina said she went and bought some foam, little foam stuff to make some foam stamps. Oh, Jesus. All right, let me get my bird before. Come here, you. You okay? Stop. It's a lot going on. All right, so just so you know, I have my son James's dog here, Ginny. My bird is always with me. Kiwi, you all right? Um, and Kirby's in there. And Ginny's only three, so she, Ginny thinks she's a toy. Ginny's only three. And so Kirby and her are constantly going at it. It's a lot, but my husband made little uh, timeout areas, so it's okay, and I'm enjoying having her. Hi, Francine. But anyway, Gina, so Gina is talking about that she went and bought some stuff like these little foam shapes. So these are flowers. These are probably just cut out, like I cut these into, and the get down, and it's um, sticky back, or you can just glue it onto another piece of foam. And I like to use these for jelly plates. Um, you can also carve your own stamps, which I've done. I've tried everything under the sun. Jenny, stop. I think, I think Kiwi's taunting her. Are you taunting her? Stop. Um, hi, dragonfly, dragonfly grandma. Look what I got. Dragonflies. These are going to be the wings when I do some fairies, I want to do some fairies, some little dragonfly fairies. Maybe I'll change the shape, but I like this shape. I don't know what other shape I could do to just keep it real simple because I'm no woodworker. Um, lindos. Cute. Que lindos. I know what that means because my granddaughter is Mexican. Hi, Rosalie. Um, so, all right, let me just say two. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be uh, working on a page. Hello, Catherine. And um, hopefully get something done because, like I said, I do have a full house. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my son. Matthew is in Bergen County. Well, I shouldn't really say. It doesn't matter. He's in Atlantic City. No, he's not. We live near Atlantic City. He went to detox. And then hopefully from there, he will be going to um, like about a six-month program, I hope. I hope that they'll okay that with his insurance. Um, decorating memories. Hello. Hi, Mick. Oh, hi. Yeah, you can. I'm doing it myself. I made these all by myself. Anywho, um, yeah, I know. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, he's in um, rehab. So he won't be here, and uh, I'll be able to focus again. So now, now that's that being said, let's see how many I have on there. About 35. Hopefully, when people get home and they see this, they'll... Um, Add, add their comments as well. But what do you guys want me to do? I know polymer clay. You guys always want polymer clay. Um, and I love polymer clay too. And I have, um, Jin Jin, stop. I have, Jin Jin, stop. 
Then he stopped. I have a couple of boxes, so I could probably do, um, like this box is ready to go. I just got to glue some legs on it. And I actually prefer now to do the tiles all the way around the box as well. Um, but I know. I know. Dragonfly eyes? Dra oh, dragon eyes in polymer clay. Well, Francine, I've been there, done that. Like, honestly, I... I need to find something new. So here, Mick, I wanted to show you these. So I went and got these little butterflies. These are good proportion-wise for these little um, art doll ornaments. So I just cut it. I took the original shape and then I cut around it to make it more like defined. And that could be a little fairy too, a butterfly fairy. Um, and these are just, the dolls are just from coasters, like wooden coasters, that I just cut a triangle. Um, I wanted to see if I could just find, like my dragonfly eyes, I, I know they're here somewhere. I'm flinging stuff all over my desk. This is a little angel, like when I first, first started polymer clay. Look at this. And I have one up here. Look how pr like primitive this is. Abstract painting, mixed media. How about incorporating your wood burning? I know, Deb. Yeah, I love my mixed media. See, I think I'm kind of coming back around after trying so many different things. But look at her. She's like so primitive. Like my granddaughter made it. You see, I painted her face. I made her little curly hair. I just like kind of stamped a heart and then I add stickles to everything. Jenny, what are you doing? Um, but look at this one. I made like a little keychain thing. Have you seen these? I mean, this is from way, way back. Oh, Ki Kiwi is excited because she's torturing Jenny right now. I have so, oh look, this just fell out. See, that's why, like, I can't sell this. Like, I have to glue this in. Because how can I sell that on Etsy and have it fall apart? Um, yeah, mixed media. Like, what kind of mixed media? Art journal mixed media or three-dimensional mixed media? And if you guys, see, like, I've done, I've covered tin, Altoid tins with, like, um, I've done everything, so I guess it's really just, I think you guys watch what I make, art journal, I know, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do an art journal page, and I'm gonna try and not fill the whole page, I know, hi Dana, um, but yeah, I think these dragonflies are gonna be awesome, any books on polymer clay for beginners? There are a lot of them, Francine. I know, an affirmation page. Hey, Mary, Mary, listen. Why stick to one thing? Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's why these ATCs were basically, uh, because my son, who thankfully now is hopefully going to get help, um, that week that I made those, he wasn't home. He left. He was... We were literally on the phone, and he just left. He he said, I have to go get my um, license out of the car, and he just left. And so we didn't know where he was for like a week. He was at the mission in Atlantic City. And um, so, yeah, so these, like, I put love and understanding on this one. Begin your journey. I believe in you. Believe, get it? Ha ha ha. And be brave and do it. So, I definitely think art journaling has a place in my life because 
if I do use it as a tool to to unburden myself, right? Yeah, me too. Yep. I think that um, art plays that role for me. Art is definitely a way for me to just relax and um, yeah, and then I get to share it with you guys as a bonus. So I just wanted to come on real quick and um, I think I'm going to make my art journal page with my other camera and let, might as well just show that. So let me just show you guys real quick. This is what I film with when I do my, um, cause I've had questions about that too. Uh, I'm trying to close the lens cap. Um, this is a Canon HD Vixia R. Let's see if you can see it. The H, well, it's going to be backwards, right? HF R 600. Um, and I don't think it was very much. I don't know. Like, I don't know, maybe like a hundred bucks. Hi, Nance. I know, Julie. I've been trying to figure out, sorry, I'll talk about the camera in a minute. I've been trying to talk, uh, figure out um, what I want to paint again. Like if I want to paint a big project, I'm going to my cousin Franz and I'm going to be painting a, um, a big canvas. And it's going to be like this because Fran was the one who inspired this piece. This was like a painting that we saw at Ikea and she liked the yellow, blue, and orange combination. So, um, anywho, maybe I'll film that when I go to France. I'll bring my camera. Um, but that's not the kind of painting I was talking about. I was talking about, what do I have that's painted? Well, you said any and everything, so that's good. Um, yeah, Gina. So yeah, I was talking about addiction. Matthew is, it's so sad. Like I can't, he's my firstborn son. He's gorgeous. He's got these beautiful green eyes and he's a sweet, lovey guy, but he's just lost right now because He's 30 years old and he needs to figure it out. And so we're just hoping he will. Um, and we tried to help and we couldn't help. I think I might go to Al-Anon too. I might, um, because I just need a community, although you guys are wonderful. Um, honestly, you, you're you so supportive. Um, but uh, it's just different, like he's not here. He's been here for 30 years. Hi, Sam. Yeah, so um, we're gonna be okay because we're, um, we're, out of the, we're out of the tornado right now. Medieval, hi Mary, wait a minute, Mary said, she does a lot of illustration inspired by medieval woodcuts. They are so quirky and whimsical. I know. Um, yep. Yep, Gina. Well, I just want to let you guys know because it doesn't have to consume you. And it doesn't have to be all negative because I am a total positive. I don't know how I was able, I'm able to do it. Um, just focus on the positive because I have so much positive in my life that I can't help it. I'm not going to waste my time just dwelling on negative stuff and it's not my life. That's the thing. You guys have to realize, Dana, that you know, I help when I can. Like, my brother is home again, too. He, um, and he asked me the other night if he could stay here. And I'm like, no. Because he can go home and handle, well, whatever's, I don't want to out him what's going on in his life. But just be a grown-up and face things. And that's right. Hey, I like that analogy. 
Gina said, it's like the airline oxygen. Put the mask on you first. I've heard that. I've heard that before. Yeah, Mary. So that's the thing. I have never actually created from my heart the way that mixed media is encouraging me to do. So that's why I'm definitely going to stick with that. And polymer clay isn't as um, expressive to me. Um, like making tiles is, it's more mechanical. And I mean, it is creative though. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, but playing with my painting tools and all that stuff, it's just so much more um, fun. I don't know. Polymer clay is not as fun. Oh, someone did say, what type of books, and I hope you're still on, um, what type of books are good for polymer clay beginners? I wouldn't buy a book because there's so much online that you can find. Yes. They are like meditation. The tiles are like meditation in a way um, because you are. And, and crafting is like meditation. So, you know, um, anywho, I have books um, on polymer clay, but I would say just watch videos and go, go um, on Pinterest. And, um, but mostly uh, once you find out about how the medium works, Jen, she's sitting on my chair. Oh, what a good girl. All right, just get comfy. <laughs> um, what the medium does and how it works, then you can apply that to whatever you want to do with it. Polymer clay is, a, is something that you have to cure it in the oven. It needs to be conditioned, and then you can mold it and play with it and shape it into whatever you want to shape it into. You can add... Um, embellishments to it. Wow, that's right, Mary. Um, so it, it can be, um, creative for sure. You can definitely be creative with it, but, um, yeah, it's just like Mary just said. I think the paint, it just, it just happens right then. And it's like, kind of like, yes. I, I'm, I'm, this live is so hard for me because I get distracted by you guys' comments and I want to be involved in the chat and, and I lose my train of thought. Um, too bad we can't mold our family members. So funny. So I love you guys. Thank you for being on here. And um, I think, yeah, let's see. It's still, oh, it's only, it's two o'clock. So I definitely have time for, um, to create. And I think I want to. I have to clean off my desk and get some things out, gather up some supplies. I have some ideas and get these doggies situated so that I can be uninterrupted. Um, I locked Jenny in here. Kirby's asleep on the couch. You don't sleep enough. When are you going to start sleeping? Here she is. Oh, hello. Put your little face up here. Here she is. What are you doing? Why can't I find you? Can't find her. That's her butt. Anywho, so I'll be back and hopefully create something really cool. Let's see. I know. You guys are my crafty family. That's what Stacy says, Pink Poodle Crafts. Hello, crafty family. Where are you, Gina? Why are you homesick? I love being home. My son James is in Japan right now. He's been sending me some really cool video. Um, Tennessee? I like Tennessee, um, but yeah, I actually keep busy with exercising. Like I've been really exercising and keeping up with that. Um, obviously my animals keep me very busy. Oh, so you're homesick with laryngitis. That stinks. I haven't gotten sick. Oh, I gotta knock wood. 
I haven't gotten sick or the flu or anything, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty much a homebody. I don't really get around people. So as a teacher, you're going to get all those kid germs. Um, hopefully Maya's doing okay too. See, we haven't talk, talked to Maya about her dad yet. Um, hi, Crystal. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Crystal. It's a hard life. I'll tell you, my brother, like he, it's just been up and down and up and down. I think a lot of us are homebodies. That's why we watch so many YouTube videos. But yeah, Crystal, I mean, life, like I'm 50, I'm turning 54 this year. And I'm so happy for um, the wisdom that age brings us because... I think when you're young, you just don't get it a lot of times, you know? So, um, I think 20 years is long enough, Crystal, and I'm so glad. And, I mean, I just try to tell my brother, like, life isn't perfect. Life isn't perfect. You're not going to... Hi, Amalia. Oh, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. I think I was just talking about you. Are you the truck driver, Sherry? Um... All right, Mary, have a good day. See, I wish I had a sister. I don't have a sister. Okay, cool. I was just talking about you because someone asked about how they could connect with me on Facebook um, and share some of their projects. And I was saying that you're kind of uh, in tile mode right now. And you're, so you've been sharing a lot of your stuff. Um, I just went to Hobby Lobby today. Thank you, Mary. I will. I usually do have a great day. Um, even with the bad stuff, I, I really try to have a great day. Um, uh, anywho, um, wow. No, um, Gina, heroin, my, like, heroin's out there. It's like, it's nothing anymore. It's like, when I was a kid, it was there was acid, there was um, you know everything's there. I mean, if 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 you're hanging around with people who use drugs, you're gonna have access to pretty much any drug, and um, heroin's a tough one because supposedly it's euphoric. It makes you feel so good. Some people opioids because that's what my son's addicted to opioids. So it's the same thing. He says he's never done heroin, but it's the same. The pills that are being, the opioid epidemic right now is basically heroin. Good. Um, so just FYI, if if someone's addicted to oxycodone or Valium, even any of those, those are all opioids. The pain, the pain medicines um, are all derived from heroin and morphine and all that stuff. So um, yeah, it's just. It's very common. It's it's out there. It's everything. Like people just, I don't know why they're not afraid to death of it. Like, that they just take it. It doesn't make sense. But, um, supposedly, my son started taking it because he got a toothache. And the doctor prescribed it to him. And he started taking it. And then he was hooked. And I do believe it's a disease. That's the other thing. There's a big debate. I don't get into it, like, on Facebook and stuff when people talk about it. Um, they say, you know, it's mind over matter and all that stuff. I feel like our bodies are chemistry experiments. And when you add a chemistry to it, when you put a certain type of chemical in your body, you don't know what your body's going to do. You know, some people's bodies reject it. Like, that's why I can't drink a lot. Like, I throw up. But some people can drink, 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 drink. So, um, it's just scary. You, you, you know, when people try something, they never know. Their body might just love it. So, um, anywho, uh, it's, it, I don't think it should have the stigma that it has still. I think it's pretty much, um, just like any other disease. Well, maybe not like just like any other because I, you can't compare it to cancer or, I mean, but like diabetes, people kind of give the, can give themselves diabetes if they don't eat right. If you're, if you put, if you consume too much sugar, Yeah, just like smoking. Yeah, like if you add a chemical to your body 
your body's just maybe going to grab onto it and be like, give me more, give me more. Just like sugar. Sugar is one of the most addictive things that we have, you know, and um, it, people have to wean themselves off. Coffee. So you have, um, what is the stuff in coffee? Caffeine. Um, tobacco has nicotine. So it's just like that. And sometimes people just get really strong about oh you're weak if you can't quit or whatever I'm just glowing this little halo back in my um you know if you can't quit you're weak no it's hard as hell I have my mom actually quit smoking after like 30 some years of smoking um but it was super hard and I don't even know I think you can reverse some of the effects now with smoking that it does to your lungs but she had emphysema and it's just, it's sad. All right, hold on. Wait a second. Sherry said, I went through that after thyroid surgery. I liked how well I slept when taking. Yes, okay. I see what you're saying. So, yeah. Everyone, you just have to be aware that there's a possibility and I don't think doctors are doing enough to talk about this stuff like they just give you a prescription and just like they're not they don't put um enough emphasis on how addictive it can be so we have to be our own advocates and that's what even my son now that he's in rehab it's like you don't have, they're not God like they're not they don't know everything that, yeah, they're there to help you, but use your gut and be, and even my sister-in-law, um, not my sister-in-law, my cousin Fran's having, um, surgery. I don't think she'd mind me saying, um, she's got having a hysterectomy and they were trying to postpone it and all this stuff because, um, her blood cell count wasn't right and all this stuff. But long story short, she finally said like, this is really disrupting my life I am not happy with living like this all right Elaine bye from Oregon yeah there is t there's a lot of stigma and mental illness and mental health it's so sad yeah yeah so hi Christina Good. Southpaw said, hi, Kathy. Yeah, he did. This is the second time he's going to rehab. And, I mean, I just hope that... <gasps> hi, Rhiannon from Wales. My mom, um, my mom's mom, my grandma was from Wales. But anyway, um, I think... I'm trying to keep up with all the comments. People are really commenting here. Um, exactly. So Crystal says it's people, places, and things. So, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it live. I get too distracted by the chat when I do a live art project. So I'm just going to do it on, on camera. No, you're not alone, Southpaw. My son... Um, I think it's been at least two to three years with the opioids. Um, and so, and we really didn't know the extent of it. Um, but he was stealing. He started to steal and he was getting in trouble with the law. Like he had court Monday and he missed court. So it starts to really affect you in ways that like you're not going to be able to get jobs if you get a record like it's just so devastating to you after you get clean like you still have stuff that comes back and hello remember me your court date and like you're sober and yeah so it never goes away um i just you have to try and love them and if it affect i don't i like loving from a distance i can't do it um it's too draining. Um, he stayed here for a pretty long time, and I'm just picking up all the pens that I, sorry, that I dropped. 
Um, he sold his phone, his brand new iPhone. Like, it's just, it's so sad. Um, so yeah, just love them from a distance. And I actually did a, um, a video on here. I don't, I don't think it was live where I talked about, um, take care of you. It was called take care of you. Suboxone. Okay. I've heard of Suboxone. Oh, good girl, Francine. I'm so happy for you. Kathy's art garage says she sure wishes her daughter would get help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Kiwi's with me. She's been here the whole time. I have my son's dog here too. Um Well, my brother went on methadone and actually this last stay in rehab he went off the methadone and he wants to be just clean. Um, and Suboxone is different. Marina, I don't speak Spanish. If anyone can translate that, I would love to know what she said. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the government making money off these people. It's so sad. Like, I just, I don't know. I, um, and sometimes I would love to be able to be involved in a, in a process, in a political way to help people with this issue. Um, I don't know how to get involved. You love my tutorials, probably. I think Marina's saying, thank you for my tutorials. Um, lingua. I don't know what that means. Okay, listen, I, I don't know if meds are the answer. I take a very low dose of Paxil, but I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's narcotic or anything. Hi, Mandy. That's right. I know. I hope so. I hope he gets can pull his life together. Alcohol is the same thing. Yeah. Um the, it's such a deep deep topic. That's true. We'll see. Francine, I'll keep that in mind because Richie, my brother did use the boxing for a little while. My brother knows every friggin' way to, de ugh, like, he knows everything about drugs from his history of using drugs. And, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see what math, because I think Maddie might have a little ADD, and, um, oh, thank you for translating. It just translated on my, my tutorials, even if she doesn't understand my language, are very clear. You're welcome, Marina. Yeah. People don't understand. There's such a stigma still attached to it. And they're good people. Just because they have mental illness or um, uh, a, a drug addiction doesn't mean they're bad people. Like, it's just crazy. Um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, how long? Oh, we've been on here an hour. And I love you guys. I love it. So, basically, I started out talking about the Hobby Lobby clearance going on right now and I didn't really get very much all I got was the Tim Holtz washi tape yeah yep so maybe would you guys like to do hi Christina just got here well I've been on here for an hour I would love to have to do a chat or to do a live with you guys who have like someone in your life that has a drug issue or um sorry i'm reading my comments here 
Yes. Yeah, there is always hope for a cure. Dee Dee's Crafty Corner, I'm going to read her comment. You have to take care of yourself and also. And a loved when a loved one is suffering, you suffer also mentally and sometimes physically. And it's so important to love them and know there is always hope for a cure. Um, yeah. Sandy has a totally different thing. I mean, here's the thing. They have a disease, okay? So just like anything, I when my mom had cancer, I didn't, you know, we were happy. We tried to be positive. Um, and you know what, Sandy? I don't think she hates you. I don't think she hates you. I think she has, you're just an easy target. You're someone that she can push all her frustration at. Hello from Turkey. <laughs> what up? I hope you're nice because I'll block you. Um, anyway, um, so don't, don't take it personally. That's the thing. I've been stolen from and lied to and left hanging. I was, I met him in the city on Wednesday. I sat there for an hour and a half supposedly to come. Um, yeah. Well, you should. You should journal, Dana. I journal. So I have, this is my little journal. Look at this. It says, beautiful mess. This is my little journal that I write all my um, stuff that has to do with my beautiful mess. Um, because he is so worth the wait. He's worth the wait. He's my firstborn son. I love him. He's gorgeous. I just, I want him to be everything he can be so you have to um yeah just you have to let go and I don't believe really necessarily that God does anything but if you believe in God and you feel like that would help you do that like they say let go and let God um but I just you have to let them and let whoever can influence them in their life help them and guide them and a lot of times it's someone else who their sponsor or something who's um, been through it because maybe I can't relate because I I don't have an addiction to anything other than um, crafts um, so yeah Kathy you can't you have to take care of yourself so yeah so I exercise and if mixture's still on here. Hopefully you're still keeping the weight off, Mick. I am. I've it's been um I lost about 25 pounds last year and I've been keeping up with that and staying focused. So is my husband. Um for 10 years. Jeez, that sucks. Fibromyalgia. Like pain is no joke. Like I have sciatica. So I've been doing core exercises. Um, so I have like abs now and everything because I'm trying to strengthen my core. Well, Sandy, I hope you stick with it. I don't belong to a gym. I, I did join a gym briefly um, and I went, but it would, had to do with diet as well. You have to make sure you try to leave that sugar. You can't, you know, not as much as I used to. Um, but I have from time to time, like we're going to watch the Eagles game. We're going to have some chips and dip the Eagles game. I call it. It's a Super Bowl. So go Eagles. E A G L E S Eagles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi crayons. I hope you're nice. You're calling me beautiful. Uh, you know, I don't know, but yeah. So taking care of us, I have a video on that and, um, it helps a lot. Um, to stay busy so you're not just, oh good, I'm glad you're nice. Yes, ask a question about Kiwi. Yes, she does poop on me from time to time. But Kiwi knows, like if I if I hear her start to make a little noise, like let's see. Go potty. Go potty, Kay. Go ahead. Go potty. Like she's been sitting up there for a while, so she probably has to go potty. Okay, go potty. You don't want to go potty? And I can generally just do this and say go potty, and she'll go potty if she has to go. 
because she'll start making noises on my shoulder. I don't know. She just kind of taught herself um, how to do it. Um, you didn't think you would like me? That's hysterical. Um, hi, Jane. No. She poops on demand. Not really, but you can get your... Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading the, um, oh, Christina, I'm so sorry. Mixter, put on a little, yeah, you had an injury on your neck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy to get, to gain the weight back and to slip back into your old habits, and that's why you have to focus on you. You have to just... Well, if you if you want to, because I mean, there's going to come a time I'm just going to cut my hair and go gray and sit on the couch and eat bonbons. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe that'll be fun. I'll go through a heavy period, you know. Um, keto, too. I don't know what keto is. And I have a personal trainer who... Um, I'm going to go to her more after when it got freezing here, I stopped going to her, but I'm going to go back. It was, I was going in um, December and um, just getting your core and your body in shape. It makes everything. Yeah. And menopause. I'm not menopausal yet. So who knows what's going to happen when I start that. So um, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, but listen, you have to do, what feels right and um, what makes you feel good. And if eating a donut every other day makes you feel good, then do it. Yeah, still kicking. Um, hello, Anastasia. So yeah, so what was I saying? All right, take care of you, you guys. Listen, I would love to do these chats. Um, I guess we should pick a topic because I think I go off topic and it's just all over the set over the place but um oh we were talking about kiwi so yeah so I had big birds I had um a macaw and an eclectus a male eclectus and um I mean poop happens birds have to be light for flight so she's definitely gonna poop a lot and I don't I mean I don't get mad at her yeah if I just got dressed and I'm going somewhere Oh, Jane has a similar painted door arch. Oh, yay. That's actually um, either Judy Dipe House or Linda Tula. And it's not straight stroke work. That's actually a pattern that I... Um, I um, answer my question. Oh, Jesus, it's Ron Jeremy. You're getting... Oh, Jesus, hold on. Re not report. I don't know how to get it off. I think, um, I think I just pushed this user's messages will be hidden. Okay, good. Good. I did it. Um, <laughs> I think they've come on before. Hi, Yvonne. Yeah, my house is pretty amazing. And I mean, I'm not saying that to be, I just love home so much. And because I'm a creative person, I, um, I've decorated it like with all the stuff I love and a lot of it I've made myself. So it's, it's like, so I just feel like it's a hug when I walk in here. Um, and I have pretty much a door crown over every door. I did do a home tour. It's pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, Sandy. I feel the same way. I've already cried. I did a house tour. Oh, excuse me. That was right in my ear. I did a house tour a couple years ago. It's it's pretty much the same. It doesn't change. Although I did get new furniture. Yeah, it doesn't really change that much. Yeah. So, um, Yvonne, it would take so long. And I've really done it. Um, this is Kiwi. Yeah, there's one on there. Thank you, Dragonfly Grandma. You always send me hugs and smiles. You're so nice. Um, 
So yeah, I think I'm going to let you guys go. OMG, we've been on for an hour and I could have made lots of things by then. But I love talking to you guys. All right, Kay, you ready? I'm going to go. Hi, Yvonne. Listen, that's one thing I do want to talk about before I go. Craft question. The buttons you use to do your groovy geometric box and frame, do you remember where you got them? Yeah. Um, hi, Tom's Corner from Ohio. Thank you. I'm awesome. That is so nice, Andrew. Um, great therapy session. I know, right? Um, the buttons. I get my buttons at the craft stores. AC Moore, um, South Pole, we can do that. Why don't you guys leave comments under this video and I'll try to, um, wait, she may have to go potty. Do you have to go potty? Don't potty on me. Go ahead, go potty. And sometimes I'll hold her over the trash can, but I have hardwood floors so I can just wipe it up. Are you going to go potty? You know some little potty? Can kiss her. No kisses? <laughs> She's like dunking me. <laughs> ha ha, I gotcha. Um, go to Target. Um, no, not, I don't get my buttons at Target. I get them at, um, the craft stores. And I don't have a pack of buttons with me right here. But they're, uh, dress it up. Um, What's it called? Um, Jenny's here with me. Let me think what it's called. Oh, Joanne's Fabrics, Hobby Lobby. Lo Hobby Lobby, can't seem to catch you live. Well, I'm live now, Anastasia. I made your day, Sandy. Thank you. Okay, bye, Julie. Jane's addicted to, to tiles. Too. So yeah, so I have a couple boxes. I don't know where I put them now. Let's see. Oh, right here. So these are ready to go. So maybe I'll do a Valentine's box here because I know you guys love them. Um, and then this one's blank and just ready to go. So who knows? But I have tons of tiles already made. I have hand-painted tiles. I have so many. Um, so... Um, I could do that, but like it just depends. I'm in the mood to play with um, my mixed media with my art journal. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm cheap too, Catherine. I, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm just going to go. What do you want me to do? That's so funny. You guys crack me up. Um, I, um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, Gina. I have a lot of stuff, don't I? I have a lot of home. I have a lot of crafty stuff. My craft room is, like, filled with stuff. Look, I got another Pandora bracelet. Just because... Art journal was your train? Okay. I got the two-tone and I got the 7.1 because it's definitely not bumping as much. Like the longer one bashes into everything. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Art journal was my train of thought. Yeah. Uh, because I just love playing with paint, and so, yeah, I got myself a couple of different paints today. I got myself, um, collage podge, so I'm gonna go, alright? I could, I just talk a lot, you guys. Yvonne, don't, no, Yvonne, don't, you just block them. I don't let that ruin my day. You can't dwell on that stuff. What has he done? He hasn't done anything. I, at least I didn't repeat what he said. One time I had a troll that was that wrote something rude on my thing, and I just started reading the comments, and I said it. And then I had to take the whole video down um, because I repeated what they said on there, and then 
my video got like flags and stuff because I said the word. So you just have to watch out. They're just people that are, they're probably kids for the most part. I think it's just kids that want to like mess with your videos. Um, and so they try to, they just try to mess your video up. And so you just block them. I actually have an iPhone. Hi, Shirley. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, yeah, this, so I guess you're going to have to watch this back. It's pretty long. It started out as a haul from Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, this is getting posted. And Beverly says she's watched a lot of my videos. Yeah, exactly, Francine. So, um, it's an iPhone. I just got it. We just joined Sprint. I think it's the latest one. It's waterproof. Um, but we just joined Sprint, so we got all new phones. And um, she is probably like 15. I don't remember. How old are you? I think she's like 15. Probably, she might even be older than that. Because my kids were 12, 22. Yeah, she's probably around 15 to 17. Um, but, oh, I was going to say, you guys... I actually film, I totally stopped saying this, with um, a camcorder for the most part. I have a tripod set up here that my husband made with um, a piece of a broomstick that hangs over my desk so I can shoot down, which I love. I'm very happy with that. Um, I used to film on just a regular camera that had a video option and... Um, I could only film 10 minutes at a time. So this way I can make our videos on here. And I do use editing because the way it shoots, everything's upside down because it shoots this way. Like I have to put it on my tripod this way. Um, so I have to flip it and then I can also turn it into an MPEG format. And I'm really not good with the techie stuff, but I do it all the time. I also have a bigger battery on here and I can just plug right in. I have my plug in. So it gives me a lot of time and I have zoom um, and it's an HD camera. So anyone who wants to make videos, I totally, and I think the iPhone, like right now I'm on my iPad. Um, I think that's high def. I think I'm in high def right now. I mean, I look pretty like high def. Um, I know a lot of you guys are filming with your phones, and um, I really personally, if it's not in high def, I won't watch the videos as much. <laughs> well, Louis Vanderlee has no idea what I'm what she, what I'm saying. Maybe she doesn't speak English, but she likes what I'm. She likes listening. That's so funny. Shirley, I'm working on something to send you. <gasps> what? You're too sweet. Oh, you're a he. So you understand what I'm talking about. What? Louis. Louis. Vanderly. Um, anywho. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. So, yeah. So, I film, generally, I film on my camera. And that's not live. This is just live. I just started doing this um, because you're from the Netherlands. Yeah. I have to go, Yvonne. Um, I get too distracted. Thank you, Fiona. Kirby has to go potty. I got to get a drink. And um, I'm definitely going to create, so I'll be posting something um, soon. And listen, you guys, I thank you for being on here. I love chatting with you and um, sharing my little crafty world with you. And one more hour, please. You guys are hysterical. Well, I'll make a video that'll probably be an hour. You know me. I can't, I can't make a short video. But I got to handle these dogs. All right, you guys, say goodbye, Kay. You ready? You go say goodbye? Say bye-bye.
Thank you, Catherine. Bye, Deb. Rhonda, I'm just going now. Oh, stop. Don't. Oh, God. I got to get rid of that guy. Hold on. All right. No need for all that language. Um, thank you, Felicia. All right, guys. So I will see you. Oh, God. I don't know what that means. All right, Francine, I have a lot of different videos, Francine, so I don't do the same thing all the time. Like, sometimes I do um, polymer clay, I do art journaling, I do, I've been talking about addiction a lot because, um, bye, Gabriella, bye, Tom, stop. Um, so, yeah, I talk about a lot of different things. And um, I'm happy to have you guys. All right, you guys? So let me see if I know how to get out of here. Yeah, I know. I guess I've been on here too long. And I don't know how to turn this off. Oh, thank you, Deb. She's my... Look, she's saying I love everything. <clears throat> I don't know how to turn this off. <clears throat> Well, I turned it around. That's my tripod. I would love to do an addiction forum, Francine. I, you know, I think we need a topic. And then we can do something. And maybe, okay, Amalia. I'll try to find it. All right, good. Um, I'm, I'm just having trouble signing off. I don't know where to like stop, how you stop it. You're saying stay. I don't unplug it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. Oh, X. There we go. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. It's There's just an X and then it says, are you sure you want to stop streaming? I know. There's a lot. It's a lot. All right, bye guys.